Hello students! In today's lesson, we will discuss about the processes along convection current, slab pool, and lead push. The objectives are as follows. Describe convection current, lead push, and slab pool. Explain what causes the tectonic plates to move. Identify the plate boundary where slab pool and lead spools occur. What drives the movement of tectonic plates? There are a number of competing theories that attempt to explain what drives the movement of tectonic plates. Three of the forces that have been proposed that drove the plate movement are the mantle convection current, lead spools, and slab pool. Now, let's discuss the mantle convection current. As a substance like water is heated, less dense particles rise while denser particles sink. Once the hot less dense particles cool down, they sink and the other less dense particles rise and so on. This continuous process is called convection current. This one simulates the process happening in a convection cell. The violet color represents the hot rock found in the mantle. When it is heated, its density decreases, causing it to rise. And this is similar to what is happening in the Earth's mantle. Many geologists thought that convection currents happen in the mantle. But how is it possible for the mantle rock to rise and sink in the mantle? Over millions of years, the extreme heat and pressure in the mantle and in the core cause solid mantle rock to flow very slowly. The hot, less dense material rises and spreads out as it reaches the upper mantle, causing an upward and sideward forces. These forces lift and split the lithosphere at divergent plate boundary. The hot magma flows out of the mantle and cools to form new oceanic crust at the mid-ocean reefs. The downward movement of the convection current occurs along a convergent boundary where a slab pool happens. Here, the older and denser oceanic crust is pulled and subducted at a convergent plate boundary. This one simulates how the hot magma flows out of the mantle and cools down to form the new oceanic crust at the mid-ocean rings. How do you compare these processes to a conveyor belt? A conveyor belt carries luggage in it. It is similar to convection currents that move the plates of the earth. The convection currents rotate very slowly as they move and drag the plates along the tectonic plate boundaries. As the plates move away from a divergent boundary, it becomes denser than the newer oceanic crust. As the older seafloor sinks, the weight of the uplifted reeds pushes the oceanic crust toward the trends of the subduction zone. This process is called ridge push. A ridge push is another important driving force that moves the lithospheric plates. This gravity-driven mechanism is the result of an elevated position of the oceanic reeds, which causes slabs of lithosphere to slide down the flanks of the reeds. However, ridge push appears to contribute less force to make a significant plate motion than slab pull. A slab pool is another possible process involved in the movement of tectonic plates. Here, the weight of the subducting plate pulls the trailing slab into the subduction zone at a convergent boundary. Recent research has shown that the major driving force for most plate movement is a slab pool because the plates with more of their edges being subducted are faster moving ones. A slab pull is the force exerted by the weight of the subducted slab on the plate it is attached to, while ridge push is the force exerted by the excess height of the mid-ocean reeds. 
Let's summarize the three forces that cause plate movement and take note of these terms we use in this lesson. By this time, you will answer these questions. What type of plate boundary does read schools occur? What is the primary force that generates read spools? What type of convergent boundary where slab pool happens? What layer of the Earth's mantle where convection current was thought to occur? Describe how read spools, slab pool, and convection current involve in the movement of tectonic plates. I hope you've got the correct answers. So this is all for now. See you on the next lesson.